Don't you sometimes wish you could stare blankly into the horizon like the girl from That's So Raven and see the future? Maybe not the staring blankly into the horizon part, but seeing the future. The bad news is, no one can do that. Sorry. But the good news is, you can see into the future a little bit in regular expressions using look aheads. Look aheads come in two types. For all you optimists out there, there's the positive look ahead. And for the pessimists like myself, there's the negative look ahead. These decide what match you get based on the character ahead of the current character. Maybe once you master these, Disney will give you your own sitcom called That So Regex. <laughs> I'm Victor by the way, and I've been using regular expressions for a couple of years now, so I'd like to show you how to use positive and negative look aheads without making dumb faces every time. First things first, like the quantifiers in the previous video, look aheads are placed after the character or characters of interest. You also need to specify what the next character or characters will be inside the look ahead based on your intentions, but more on that in a little bit. Let's start with the positive look ahead. When placed after a character, this says match the current character only if it is followed by the character I placed after the equal sign in the parentheses. If X is by itself, you won't get a match because it has to be followed by Y. You could, for example, use a positive look ahead to extract names from the transcript of a conversation between two people. Take a look at this one between Brian and Peter. If you can correctly guess why I got these two, leave your answer in the comments below and I'll pin the first one to get it right. Let's say you wanted to extract the speaker's names using regular expressions. You place the backslash in lowercase w followed by a plus sign in the regex pattern, then use a positive look ahead with a colon after the equal sign to say match any word that's followed by a colon symbol. Since the speaker's names are the only words followed by a colon, you'll match them. If you don't know what all these symbols in the regex pattern mean, I've linked the earlier videos in this series explaining them to the top right of your screen to help you catch up. You can also add multiple characters after the equal sign if you wish. For example, if you only wanted to match the word Tony when it's followed by a space in the word Stark, you'll place a space and Stark after the equal sign. Note that the characters you put after the equal sign in the positive look ahead aren't part of the match, so you'll only match Tony instead of Tony Stark. A good way to visualize all this in real time is through a free online regex tester like regex101.com. I'm not sponsored by them, but I use the site often and have found it to be helpful. It highlights the matches for you as you're creating the regex pattern and provides a short explanation of what got matched and why. It's also free with no intrusive ads, so it's worth checking out if you think it'll help you. Up next is the negative look ahead. When placed after a character, this says match the current character only if it is not followed by the character I placed after the exclamation mark in the parentheses. Unlike the positive look ahead, you'll get a match when X is by itself because at that point it's not followed by Y. The same applies if the character after it is anything but Y. Let's say you want to match the word red in a piece of text that also includes the name red with an extra D. You'll place the word red inside the regex pattern and use a negative look ahead with the extra D inside it. This now only matches the color red and not the name. I switch over to Visual Studio to see both of these look aheads in action. We'll be using c -sharp for this demo, but the principles are the same in other languages. If you're not familiar with it or how to use Visual Studio, I've linked a playlist to the top right of your screen to get you up to speed. Go ahead and create a string variable called conversation and add some text of a conversation between two people named Brian and Peter. Next, create another string variable called pattern to store the regex pattern. Add a backslash and lowercase w inside the double quotes, followed by a plus sign and the positive look ahead with a colon after the equal sign. You created regex objects in the past, but you'll be using a static methods from the regex class itself from now on since this is more efficient. So create a variable called matches to store all the matches and use the matches method directly from the regex class. Add the conversation variable as the first argument and the pattern as the second. Now that you have all the matches, loop through them and then log them to the console. As you can see, you get matches for the speaker's names. But speaking of matches, if you'd like matching Visual Studio themes, you can get the one I'm using over on patreon.com forward slash height above sea level. It's an improvement from the default theme and is not only refreshing to look at, but has better syntax highlighting. This custom Sasuke theme is made by yours truly and comes bundled with other benefits such as advanced c -sharp lessons, Visual Studio tips and tricks, and more. You can find this all on patreon.com forward slash height above sea level. And thank you to all of you who do become patrons and support the channel. Let's look at negative look aheads next. Go ahead and replace the text in the conversation variable with a sentence that has the word red spelled with both one and two Ds. You can also rename the variable to something like message if you wish, but it's fine if you leave everything the way it is. Next, replace the pattern with the word red followed by a negative look ahead and a lowercase d after the exclamation mark. 
Since this will only get one match, you could use the match method, but the current matches method works fine too. When you now run the application, you'll see that you only get a match for the first red with one D. Awesome! Brief recap of everything before I let you go. There are two types of lookaheads, positive and negative. Positive lookaheads have an equal sign and only result in a match if the current characters are followed by what's specified after the equal sign. Negative lookaheads have an exclamation mark and only result in a match if the current characters are not followed by what's specified after the exclamation mark. Finally, the characters in the lookaheads are not part of the match. That's a lot for you guys. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more just like it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Again, if you'd like to have this custom Sasuke theme I'm using along with a couple of other benefits, you can find it on patreon.com forward slash height above sea level. There's a Discord server if you prefer chatting over there, link in the description below. And I have a Twitch channel if you enjoy live interactive experiences over on twitch.tv forward slash avatarvic. The next video in this series covers positive and negative look behinds, so I hope to see you then if not sooner. Thank you so much for watching and as always, from me to you, deuces.